In this video, I'm going to share with you the different features of the Draw and Tell app by DuckDuckMoose. When you first open the app, um, which is sponsored by Khan Academy, you'll see that in the bottom left-hand corner, there's a little area where you can turn off the music that is sort of playing in the background if you would like to do that. It's in the bottom left corner, and you can just touch that to turn it off. There are three options. You have blank paper, where you can select a paper to work with, including just a blank page, different colored sheets. There's graph paper, lined notebook paper, and then your writing style paper. There is also an option for you to add something from your photo reel. If I just press this arrow back, they have also coloring sheets. So if you open up a coloring sheet, you can just select a coloring sheet to open up and your students can color away. And the last area is the Your Drawings area where you can see the different drawings that you have already created and then open those and work with them or edit them again. We are going to use a blank piece of paper. And in this particular example, I'm going to show you how you can work with a photo. So I'm going to press the photo option. And then I'm going to choose a picture from my camera reel. Now this was just an example of a handout that I took a picture of. Students could annotate over top of a handout if you wanted them to do that. Um, the way they do that is if they press the icon up in the right hand side, they can choose from a number of different things. They can use crayons to write on top of their information here. They can use colored pencils. There's uh, just a paintbrush feature with many different colors. Um, there's an eraser, so if they're not happy with what they did, they can erase that. Um, there are different styles that they can load behind the image if it's a smaller image. And then there are stickers. Stickers are things that you can move around the page. So if I just press a sticker and drop that in, I can make it bigger or smaller by using the arrows. And resize as I need to. If I press my menu of options again, I also have a number of different stencils that I might want to use. So for example, if I wanted to do a stencil of a bike, I can color that in. And then when I press the little X, my stencil is still there. If I didn't like what I added, I can press the undo button in my menu area and undo until I'm happy with my my page. Now the other nice feature about Draw and Tell is you can tell about your drawing. So students can very easily record something by just pressing the microphone. It will count them in. They will be record a little something and when they're finished they can press the square can stop the recording and they can play that back if they'd like. This all auto saves so if I press my blue arrow in the top left hand corner that's going to open it up in my drawing area. Now for my drawing area, I could put together a number of different panels into a little story. And to do that, what I would do is I would find the ones that I've created that have audio. So the ones that have audio include have a little triangle play button on the side and I can take those and stack them on top of each other and make make a story out of it that I can save them beginning, middle and end of a story, for example, to my photo reel and all I have to do to save is I press the icon at the top that is a, a picture with an arrow and I am going to save that by pressing the blue arrow and save that to my photos and it will save that to my photo reel so if I go ahead and open up my photo reel you can see the little piece that I just put together so that's how I can use the Draw and Tell app and the different features of the Draw and Tell app to draw and tell about something I'm interested in.